What is up, NoOffSeason.com fam? I am Paul Hickey. Welcome to the NoOffSeason.com Sports Card Network and the Sports Card Strategy Show feed. This is your baseball card market update on Monday, April 8th. Coming to you every Monday on the NoOffSeason.com Sports Card Network is your baseball card market update. NoOffSeason.com, of course, is the number one place to get all the information you need to make money flipping sports cards. Get a free 30-day trial today at NoOffSeason.com. All right, let's jump into the baseball card market report here on Monday, April 8th. We start off with most volume, all cards, graded or raw, in the last 14 days. Still at the top, Elie De La Cruz's 2024 Tops 141 base raw has sold a grand total of seven or 676 times, almost 700 times, guys, in the last 14 days. That price is down, though, 10.4%, an average sale price of $3.05. Wyatt Langford's 2023 Bowman Draft Base First Raw sold 297 times in the last 14 days. His Chrome First Raw sold 244 times in the last 14 days. Ellie De La Cruz is also in at number four. His Stars of the MLB out of Tops 2024 sold 242 times in the last 14 days. Only for an average sale price, though, of $2.04. Jackson Churio's 2022 Bowman Chrome First Prospects in PSA 10, Pop 5136, sold 222 times in the last 14 days. Notable card here, Paul Skeens, 2023 Bowman Draft Chrome First Raw, sold 117 times over the last 14 days. That's up 40.7%, up almost $3 over the last 14 days. Moving over to most volume in the last 14 days by graded cards. Jackson Churio, the card we just mentioned a second ago, is at the top. His Bowman Chrome first prospects card in PSA 10 sold 222 times in the last 14 days, followed by Juan Soto's 2018 Tops Update Base PSA 10. Wow, this is a pop 23,174 card. It sold 112 times in the last 14 days, but it's selling for an average price of $56. In at the number three spot, Shohei Otani, 2018 Tops Update Base PSA 10. Pop 13,131 sold 110 times over the last 14 days for an average sale price of almost $75. Last sale, $76.21. Wyatt Langford in in the next spot. 2023 Bowman Draft Chrome first. PSA 10. Pop 1323 sold 98 times in the last 14 days. Average sale price of $95.53. But the last sale, only $78.00. 43 cents. Then Otani 2018 Tops Update Rookie Debut in PSA 10, Pop 8408, sold 94 times in the last 14 days. This card's up 2.4%. Shohei Otani is on fire, everybody. He's batting 320 for the season, two home runs last week, seven RBIs on the season, and he has two hits in each of his last four games. All right, let's go over to most volume by PSA 10s in the last 14 days. We've got the Churio. We've got the Soto that we already talked about. We've got the Otani and the Langford and the other Otani that we talked about. There's a Langford 2023 Bowman Draft Chrome Refractor first in PSA 10, clocking in in the top 10 at pop 1127, sold 90 times in the last 14 days for an average sale price of $170, but the last sale, $144 on April 7th. But notable card here, Jackson Holiday, 2022 Bowman Draft Base First Paper in PSA 10, pop 3,500, sold 88 times in the last 14 days. People looking for that paper PSA 10, it's up 22%. Last sale, just under $54. All right, let's go over to our top dollar amount sales in the last 14 days. This is a little bit different because you only need one sale of this card for to clock it at the top. At the top is Mickey Mantle's 1951 Bowman card 253 base in PSA 7 sold for $100,000 on March 25th. 
Ted Williams. His 1939 Playball Base PSA 8, it's only a Pop 88, sold for $39,000 on the same day as Mantles. Jackie Robinson's 1952 Base Tops card 312 in PSA 7.5, sold for $36,600 on March 30th. That's only a Pop 6. The Mantle 52 Tops 311 Base in PSA 1, sold for $27,600 yeah, 27, on March 28th. Interesting here is that six out of the top 20 card sales are Mickey Mantle cards. We've got two Jackie Robinson in the top 20. We've got two Shohei Otani cards in the top 20. Last week, everybody, we only had one modern current player in the top 20 card sales. This week, we have two Otanis, one Soto, one Trout, and one Mookie Betts. Otani's 2018 Bowman Chrome Rookie Auto Blue Refractor out of 150 batting in PSA 10 sold for $24,400 on March 30th. Juan Soto's 2016 Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto Blue Refractor first out of 150 sold in PSA 10 on March 31st for $22,000. Otani's 2018 Topps Chrome Rookie Auto Gold Refractor out of 50 in PSA 10, sold for $19,500 on March 30th. And Mookie Betts, who's setting the world on fire, batting 386 with five home runs and 11 RBIs in the first couple of weeks of the MLB season. His 2014 Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto Purple Refractor first in BGS 9.5 sold uh, for $17,200. This is out of 10. So this is a big card. And then the other modern card, current player, Mike Trout, playing well early on in this MLB season. His 2009 Bowman Draft Picks and Prospects Chrome Prospect Auto Blue Refractor first out of 150 in BGS 9.5 sold for $17,100 on March 30th. All right, let's go over to the top dollar amount sales in the last 14 days with five or more sales. So this shows a little bit of liquidity here. Mickey Mantle's 1953 Tops base card 82 in PSA 3 actually sold six times in the last 14 days. Interesting that we've got this vintage card at the beginning of the baseball season, this liquid, people unloading it, it's up 8%. It's last sale was on April 4th, just a few days ago, for $3,720, followed up by Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1989 Upper Deck Base PSA 10, Pop 4127, 12 sales of this card in the last 14 days. Again, showing you the power of the beginning of the baseball season for selling retired Hall of Famers, uh, sold for $1,760 uh, yesterday on Sunday, April 7th. Shohei Otani's 2017 Bowman Megabox Chrome Prospects PSA 10 Pop 1286 sold 11 times in the last 14 days. It's up 2%. Last sale, $1,330. Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1989 Bowman Tiffany Base PSA 9 sold five times in the last 14 days. Last sale, $1,150. And Nolan Ryan's 1968 Tops Rookie Stars this is his rookie. It's a rookie stars card that he shares with another player. SGC5 sold five times in the last 14 days. Last sale, $1,080. Notable card here, Mookie Betts, his 2014 Tops Update, US 26, red hot foil batting in PSA 10, sold five times in the last 14 days. Last sale, $1,030. All right, let's go over to our top risers. This is a little bit different, everybody, because now we're going to weed out all the vintage stuff. Top risers, 10 or more sales in the last 14 days, graded only, but it's cards that are only from 2012 through the present. At the top of this list, Gavin Lux, 2020 tops, 292 base PSA 10. This is a pop 18,000 card, sold 23 times in the last 14 days for an average sale of $6.66. It's up $5.55. That's up 
171%. Bobby Witt Jr., 2022 tops Cosmic Chrome, 162 base PSA 10, up 133%, 12 sales in the last 14 days. In PSA 10, this card, on average, over those 12 sales, sold for $85. Last sale, $156. Somebody cashed in $89 profit on that card. Juan Soto, 2017 Bowman Draft. Base PSA 10 pop 1500, 21 sales in the last 14 days. Last sale, $82.85. That's up 121%. J Rod, haven't heard this name in a while in the baseball card market. J Rod, his 2022 tops update base in PSA 9. That's a pop 3100 card. In a PSA 9, 12 sales in the last 14 days. It's up 118%. Now let's go over to the biggest fallers of the week in the same category. So again, 2012 through present cards, 10 or more sales in the last 14 days, graded only. Top fallers, Randy Arosa Reyna's 2020 Tops Chrome Base PSA 10, Pop 5000, sold 19 times in the last 14 days. That's down 61.4%. Eloy Jimenez, his 2019 Tops Base PSA 10 Pop 8,800. 18 sales in the last 14 days. That's down 56.6%. People still trying to unload Wander Franco. His 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospects First in PSA 10. Remember this card? Pop 13,000. Sold 17 times in the last 14 days. Guys, that's down 55%. The average sale of that card is $11.05. The last sale, $6.20. Wow, how the mighty have fallen. Spencer Jones, his 2023 Megabox Chrome Prospects Mojo Refractor first in PSA 10, pop 1,000, sold 22 times in the last 14 days for an average sale price of just under $53. Last sale, $45, down 55%. Everybody, this episode is brought to you by CGC Cards, the perfect place to slab your favorite sports cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC Cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs. Go to cgccards.com to start grading today. Let's talk about the top CGC baseball card sales Recently, we had a Shohei Otani 2018 Don Russ Optic rated rookie sell in CGC9 for $75 on March 31st. A Drew Jones 2023 Optic rated prospect auto red mojo prism out of 25 in CGC9 sold on March 8th for $73.95. And on March 2nd, a 2018 Heritage High Number Hammering Halos Shohei Otani Mike Trout CGC 10 Dual Card sold for $69.95 in a buy it now. Everybody, thanks for joining us on the Baseball Card Market Update. Don't forget to like this at youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. Comment, share, leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast app. And stay tuned for our Monday and Wednesday sports card strategy show, full episodes, and Friday's premium podcast at nooffseason.com. Stop making dumb mistakes in the hobby. Sports card school is a safe place for noobs, advanced flippers, and high rollers alike to learn how to navigate the hobby and ultimately build a collection that increases in value. Go to sportscardschool.com and get a free 30-day trial today at nooffseason.com to start learning our guidelines, strategies, and plays to help you make money flipping sports cards to fund your PC and other things in your life. Again, thanks to our sponsor, CGC Cards. Have a great day.